Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will discuss different types and kinds of modules used for the Mitsubishi PLCs. First of all, we will discuss analog input output modules. Everyone know that analog input output modules are used to convert <coughs> analog input output modules are used to convert the input signals to digital values or digital signal to the analog signals. Number of modules are available for current voltage signals and for temperature monitoring with direct connections for PT100 resistance thermometers or thermo elements. Analog input output modules as we have discussed are used to convert analog signal to digital or digital signal to the analog values. These modules are very much necessary for a PLC structure to convert the different kinds of input analog signals to the digital values and also make sure that these values are also available in the form of analog signals and digital signals both. Second one is communication modules. Communication modules. These modules are used to communicate a PLC with other PLC or with other devices. These are of kinds RS-232, RS-422 and RS-485. These are different kinds of cables for connecting peripheral are other controllers. A number of special communication modules are available for integrating the MILSIC FX1N, FX2N, FX2NC and FX3U in a variety of different networks. Different kinds of special communication modules are also available to integrate different kinds of FX1N, 2N and 2NC and 3U PLC types in a variety of different networks so that these different kinds of PLCs communicate with one another. Network interface modules are currently available for Profibus DP, AS interface, device net, can open, CC link and Mitsubishi's own proprietary networks. These are the network interface modules. Profibus DP and these are the inter device net, can open, CC link. These are the network interface modules. In the third type we will discuss it. First of all we will see that what are the analog input modules. These are the analog input modules, analog output modules and the communication modules are here. Communication module is this one and other kinds of modules are also attached in this picture. These are the output modules to extend the outputs. These are the input module to extend the inputs. But these are the analog input and in a analog these are the analog input and output modules that we are discussing now. And here on this side you can see the cable for connecting peripheral devices. These are the points for connecting the peripheral devices. And this is the input controller, input output controller, controller connecting cable. This is the basic unit and this is its CPU. Everything is visible in this kind of structure. And the third one is the positioning modules. You can complement the internal high speed counters of the Melsic FX controllers with additional external hardware high speed counter modules. These are how high speed counter modules used are positioning for gener generating different kind of pulses which you can use for connecting devices like incremental rotary transducers and positioning modules for servo and stepping drive system. Servo and stepping drive system use these kind of positioning modules to change their speed, to change their pulse generation. You can program precise positioning application, positioning applications with the Milsic FX family with the help of positioning modules for pulse strength generation. These modules can be used to control both stepping and servo drives. So these positioning modules are used to control the stepping and servo drives. These are used to generate different kinds of pulses, pulse and they are very much helpful in pulse strain generation. These are also used to uh, control the incremental or decremental transducers and to control the servo and stepping drive systems. If you like this video, subscribe this channel and stay, touch, stay tuned with me. Thank you so much for watching.